Hello, my name's Ben with His and Hers Alaska, and we're on our North American road trip for the winter of 2015 to 2016. We've been plagued with some heater hose issues on our uh, trip. I've had to replace at least three of them on the side of the road or at various points in our journey. And we're here at my dad's house in the San Diego area. And I'm just going to take all this as a clue that I need to just rehose the entire cooling system. And that's what I've done. But there's been a hiccup in finding some of the parts. Well, as we get started here, I'm going to let you know what type of motorhome we have. We have a 1999 Tiffin Allegro Class A on a Ford F53 chassis with the 6.8 liter V10. Very, very common platform. And there's a hose that runs from the bottom of the coolant recovery bottle to the bottom corner of the radiator that is obsolete from Ford. And I'll put the part numbers down below so you can uh, know what I'm uh, referencing. But the solution is, I have to custom make a hose. Here's the hose that I need to replace and it's obsolete from Ford and also on the aftermarket scene. It goes from right there at the bottom of the reservoir through an access hole down there to the bottom of the radiator down in there. Since everything is obsolete and uh, they're not making it, my solution requires some one inch heater hose which is a bulk item that you can find at most auto parts store and these things called unicoils which slide over the hose and there's a spine right there to hold it in shape so you don't get those harsh kinks which would uh, prevent good flow of coolant slash antifreeze. Okay it's time to get a little dirty so I'm gonna put my coveralls on and in case you don't use coveralls they are pretty freaking awesome if you want to uh, stay clean while you're gonna be rolling on the ground working on stuff. Uh, you know the other alternative would be to get your normal clothes dirty which I have on now or the other alternative would be to uh, go and change clothes to something you can get dirty. But seriously, I love the coveralls option. You can get them on Amazon for like 12, 15 bucks. And if you're on any type of a road trip, I kind of recommend having them. Well, that's interesting. Instructions inside the box. All four boxes. There's nothing written on the inside and no uh, paper. I also just looked on YouTube to see if there were any videos about how to use these unicoils and all the search came up with was a bunch of uh, coils for those vaporizers and e-cigarettes. So I guess I'm uh, in uncharted waters. But I think I'm going to probably put this spine on the inside bend of uh, where I need it to go instead of the outside. I don't know why. I can't explain why I feel that way, but that's what I'm going with. Just throwing out a little disclaimer. I've never done this before. So uh, you're taking this journey with me. Hopefully it turns out well. We're gonna make this hose out of that and that. Well, let's get started. Here's the first bend I need to make. I slid the coil onto the hose and I'm gonna uh, bend it into shape now. That looks pretty darn close. And I just found out those things are fairly forgiving because I flubbed up my bend and I was able to straighten out that spine. Now it's time to move on to the uh, next curve in this piece of hose. Here's the finished product. Uh, it doesn't look like it's exactly uh, bent the right way, but the bulk heater hose has a memory from being on a spool of hose. So it's kind of curving a certain direction. But I'm pretty sure I got it right. And what I'm going to do is probably make a few adjustments when I go to put it on. One mistake I made, and I would recommend you doing it a little differently, is the factory hose has this uh, protective like nylon stuff around it to uh, prevent chafing. So put that on your piece of hose before you go and put the unicoils on. I ended up just cutting off sections of it and uh, zip tying it to the hose to prevent chafing. And a lot of times when heater hoses go out, it's because they're chafing or rubbing on something. It looks like we have a good fit down here on the connection at the bottom corner of the radiator. So this is the lower radiator hose, and this is the hose we just made. And then it seems to route nicely on up to the access hole towards uh, the reservoir. Things appear to be looking good in this area where it just kind of routes on up. 
and under the hood we have a great fit. So this is the solution to your problems when you try to rehose your cooling system or if that one ever blows out on you. Just buy a one inch section of hose and these Gates Unicoils and you'll be in business. I'll also put a link to the Unicoils on Amazon so you can uh, help us out and buy them from our Amazon store. I appreciate you watching and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We're right now on our North American road trip. Amazing journey from Alaska through Canada all the way around the United States, down into Mexico, and now we're in San Diego and we're starting to work our way back north. So thanks again for watching, and remember to enjoy the ride.